The Bible says that God is love. And everybody believes that. Probably, I think everybody probably would say that's the most uh, compelling attribute of God. They're the most familiar to them. But how do we actually experience that? And as Latter-day Saints, how we experience God's love might be a little bit different from how God's love is portrayed in the Bible. So we want to explore uh, the love of God today and kind of what that means and uh, really what's the picture of God that we had as Mormons versus the picture of God that we learn in the Bible. And so, you know, what was your picture of God as you were uh, growing up in the LDS church? You, you knew, you know, you probably talked about God as loving, mm -hmm. but what did that, what did that mean mm -hmm. for you? I was told from birth that I was to love God and that He was my Heavenly Father, and I, I believed that. Mm -hmm. um, but through my experience, my view of Him wasn't like that. I viewed God as a harsh judge. I was young. I thought He was sitting up in heaven with His thumb, like ready to. Just waiting for you to mess me up, when right? I messed so up. He slapped you around. And, yeah. <laughs> and I messed up a lot. So. Um, I really felt that the degree that God loved me depended on what I did. Okay. And That's a tough feeling because then you feel like God must not love me very much. Right. <laughs> and that's I how mean, it felt. <laughs> yeah, at times, I'm so, sure, at least, you know. I, I didn't see him as love. Okay. I, mean, I mm -hmm. loved him, but I didn't see him that way, if that makes sense. Yeah, as really the, the kind of being that wanted to embrace you with open arms and just welcome you and yeah yeah interesting okay I, I bet there's a lot of people who have that similar experience and that could be very discouraging right you grow up and if what if you spend the rest of your life thinking that God is that kind of being mm -hmm. so how did your view of God change what did you learn I mean what do you know now where before it was conditional. It was dependent on what I did and mm -hmm. how good I was. Um, I know now that God's love is unconditional. Okay. And like completely unconditional? Like completely unconditional. Like we love him because he first loved us. Okay. So you're saying it starts with God and then our love is like a response to God? Right. He so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that we could mm. not perish but have eternal life. Okay. So he started it all. That yeah. reminds me, that verse that you just quoted from John 3, that reminds me of another one. It's in Romans 5 that says, God demonstrates his love for us in this. While we were still sinners, mm. Christ died, died for, for us. us. And that shows mm. that right? it's not conditional. He died. God expressed his love in that sacrificial act even while we were still uh, just sinners. Right. So to me, that's pretty amazing. It's amazing. And where I was feeling condemned, um, in that John passage, it goes on to say that he did not come to condemn the world, but he came to save the world. So it was his love. So. Okay, that's a pretty powerful. A lot of times we quote verse 16, but verse 17 the rest of the story. is really powerful too about he didn't come to condemn. Mm -hmm. You know, he came, he came to demonstrate his love for us. That's really really amazing. Um, so I guess that means kind of, so So you said we love because God first loved us. And so it really starts with him. It's because of him. And it seems to me like then if we don't think God loves us, then we're not going to love him, right? If we, if we don't believe God is a loving God, then our love, since it flows out of his love, then we're not going to be able to love him very much either. Right. So... Yeah, we can love him and we can also love others and extend that out to other people. Okay, yeah, for sure. So that's why, that's a pretty important concept. So it is important. <laughs> we better figure out what it means that, that God loves us, yeah. you know. So um, what else are you thinking about this topic before we wrap it up? Uh, any other thoughts about the love of God and how you've thought about that or how you've experienced that? Well, also just the fact that God is love, like mm -hmm. you said. He is. He is love. That's his like character. His That's character. his essence. Mm -hmm. He does yeah. have the judgmental part too, but he's love, and that's what everything our relationship with him is based on. Mm -hmm. If Jesus hadn't died on the cross, we wouldn't have a love relationship with God. Great point. That's a great point. So pretty, no. pretty foundational. Yeah. No. 
the focus isn't all on on us and what we're doing, but it's on mm-hmm. him. Good. Okay, good. So how do you picture the love of God? Is there can you help our listeners by maybe giving us a way to how do you how can they think about or picture God's love for us? This is the part I love. So instead of seeing him as a harsh judge ready to squish me. Yeah, yeah. When I think about God and he looks down on the world and at my sin and and the sin of the world, I see him sitting up there with tears in his eyes. I see his love and his compassion. Wow. And how he wants all of us to know him. Wow. And to love him. I love that image. So it's a way better image. <laughs> yeah, that's so awesome. Thanks for sharing that yeah. because that is something that is so encouraging, you know, so helpful. So you know what? I don't know if you felt like God is a harsh judge, um, then we just want to encourage you that he, he really is love. That's really his, the essence of his nature. And you know, your relationship with him can be so different when you realize uh, how he truly feels about you, how he cares about you, and how he wants you to have a relationship with him. And so hopefully that's something that you can meditate on and, and, and uh, discover more about as you, as you experience the love of God in your own life. Thanks for watching today.